Hi my dear folks, I am Saruna Kumar, Assistant Professor of CIC Department in San Monaran Engineering College. Now we are going to see EMTS in Network Design and Technology for ME First Year CSC. Okay, let's start. EMTS is nothing but Universal Mobile Telecommunication Service. Before getting to that, we must know certain things like what is generation what are all the difference between 2g 3g 4g and so on let us see one by one first generation is based upon voice communication it was started in 1979 second generation was started in 1991 it has some additional features in comparison to the first generation like sms and voice service version like 2.5 2.75 had come for the initialization of internet facility Next we move upon 3G. It is purely made for the improvement of internet facility. And now comes the 4G started in 2008. In comparison with the 4G and 3G, 4G has the speedest network than 3G. We all know that. You would have noticed that. We can use internet simultaneously with voice call. Internet connection will not stop. But in case of 3G it is not possible. Right? So these are all the major differences. Now let us move on the topic EMTS architecture. Architecture can be divided into three major parts. The first part is the user equipment, second part is the access network and third part is the core network. Now coming to the user equipment. User equipment consists of the mobile station and SIM card. Using is nothing but Universal SIM. You know very well that only the mobile station cannot use unless it has SIM card. Universal SIM holds uh, subscriber identity or user identity, authentication algorithm, authentication and encryption key. Let us see one by one. User identity which is very important for this mobile station to access its particular mobile network. And in order to access the mobile network, we need to authenticate this user with its network. And for the authentication, we need the authentication key as well as authentication algorithm, which is also stored in the SIM card. And also need to encrypt the communication between mobile station and node B. So encryption keys are also stored in SIM card. Now coming to the second part of mobile network that is access network. We have node B. Node B as a tower. Here can be one node B and many node B depending upon the size of the network. RNC is nothing but radio network controller. RNC can control the more than one node B. The interface between the node B and mobile station is called as UU interface. The interface between the node B and RNC is known as IUB interface. This is an air interface which is based upon the WCDMA technology. We know about WCDMA, Wideband Code Division Multiple Access. CDMA means, uh, which means that more than one user can access the same channel uh, that is called CDMA techniques. Now we come to the functions of node B, air interface, spreading, modulation and error correction. Let us see one by one. Basically you can consider the node B as a radio transfer which communicate with the mobile station it uses the WCDMA technology. Uh, second spreading and modulation. Uh, it's nothing but you have to add some additional information with the baseband signal for the purpose of successful transmission. You can simply say that say for an example you just remember that you are at the starting point and also consider some point of uh, long distance at the target point. You take a paper, crush it and throw it. Will you able to reach your target? Never. But the same process, you take the same paper and insert a stone in it and then crush and throw, you will be successfully able to reach a target. Uh, that's a mechanism is uh, modulation. Next, uh, we go to uh, error correction. During the communication, 
uh, there are bit error frame error may be occurred that error correction are also done the node b now we come to the measurement report suppose this mobile is communication with the node b on the information or bits that it is received from the node b it would be calculating the fer fer is nothing but frame error rate at and this frame error rate indicate the quality of communication between the mobile station and node b the second next the second thing is power control power control is nothing but signal control first of all we know what is power control what are the what are what are the objective of power control why power control okay uh, first what is power control power control refers to the strategies or techniques required in order to adjust correct and manage the power from mobile station and base station in both direction in an efficient manner the second one is objective of power control to keep each mobile at minimum power that is the objective of power control the last one why power control to avoid near and far problem and to reduce interference okay let us move on the handover mechanism for handover mechanism we can simply take a example of relay game we all know that the stick will be passed to person to person so the person who gets the stick will take control of it likewise in network communication a mobile is getting it the mobile is getting its signal from node b a tower and suddenly is found login signal and the mobile is not able to get the signal now tower will indicate the uh, radio network controller to provide a new node b signal to the device such process of handover control is done by radio network controller now we come to the functions of rnc what is rnc manage and control the radio resources of node b already we know we talk about the handover procedure and also we discuss about the inner loop power control inner loop is nothing but interface between the mobile station and node b is known as inner loop outer loop power control means uh, interface between node b and radio network controller now we come to the second function of the rnc this is known as the admission control for example mobile wants to initiate a voice call at the moment node b needs to give a cdma channel to this mobile station to start a voice call but another situation already too many mobile station in this node b cell area so this means there is no room for another mobile so this mobile would not be admitted to the network in network in that case this is known as the admission control next code allocation and packet scheduling uh, say for an example cell is not congested so this means mobile wants to admit to the node b network to initiate a voice call so in this situation cdma channel would be allocated to the mobile station now i come to the congestion control for example already many mobile station are in the cell area in that case uh, if there is a new mobile wants to initiate a call there will be no resources for that mobile station now what rnc is can do first thing first thing is block this mobile second solution is decrease the data rates of those mobile so in that situation new mobile can be admitted to the cell area second mechanism is trigger handover which means that mobile station move from this one node b to another node b okay uh, that's all i hope you all 